Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to be talking about YouTube and how much YouTube pays. If you didn't know, I have been on YouTube for eight years. Eight years. That is crazy to say. And I am just now reaping the benefits of staying consistent and you know just staying true to what I want to do with content creation so I started when I was 15 I'm about to be 23 this year and yeah ever since then I just when I first started off I do want to say that I used it as an escape goat because I was homeschooled my freshman year of high school I, before I even started my freshman year, I told my mom that I wanted to be homeschooled. I looked up everything that I needed to do and my mom finally agreed once I gave her a bunch of research and I started off homeschooled. So I was homeschooled for four years and it was honestly the best time and it had its pros and cons, you know, everything does. So to me it was the best time because I was able to explore myself and um, get to know myself more and tell myself that I wanted more as a teenager. I wanted more for myself. I wanted to love myself. All of that. I went through that whole phase. And in that phase I uh, went to YouTube as like an escape goat. Like that was where I was able to be creative. I was able to teach myself these different things like editing. Um, just learning different camera things. I had a Canon PowerShot 180, I think. And actually, at first, I was filming on my Samsung phone. And then I got a Canon PowerShot 180 camera. And that actually lasted me until this year my cameras decided to quit on me this year and I was able to get the Canon G7X so that's a little background on my content creator side that's what I've been doing recently and how I kinda got into YouTube back when I was doing YouTube at that time you did not need watch hours you didn't need a certain amount of subscribers in order to get paid stuff has changed a lot when I was 15 I just started my channel you did not have to have subscribers you didn't have to have a certain amount of watch hours none of that all you had to do was post a video get views and that's how you made money on YouTube crazy and stuff has changed now I have my iPad over here to just give me a whole breakdown because I it's been a while okay so what do you need in order to get monetized on YouTube? So you need a thousand subscribers, four thousand public, make sure they are public, four thousand public watch hours. You cannot private your videos. That's what that means. Within the last 12 months. And you have to, obviously, you have to live in a country that does the YPP program, the YouTube Partner Program. And you have to have an AdSense account linked to your YouTube account. So that's what you need. And this is also another thing that people don't mention. If your videos say like this is... Um, if you click when you're uploading a video like this video is made for children. Nine times out of ten you're not going to be able to get monetized off of those videos. I've noticed that some people do that and then they like cuss in their videos or something like that. Like that... You can't do that. So, um, yeah, just watch out for that as well. I don't know if it's like overall those type of videos can't get monetized, but I know for sure like some people they'll do all these sorts of things in their video and then click this video is made for kids. No, you cannot do that. <laughs> so let's get straight into it. I hit I hit monetization requirements last year. This time last year, actually, um, it was more into August, but it was around this time last year that I fully got monetized on YouTube and I was able to start making money. I didn't actually start, well, yeah, I did. Around this time is where I do like back to school stuff and all of this stuff and I was promoting myself a lot. So I was getting a lot of views, which 
played a part into my watch hours and my subscribers. So after I got the email saying that I was accepted into the YouTube Partner Program, I, you know, filled out the little thing. And um, I would say it only took me a day. I think they say allow them 48 hours to review your channel and all of that but it only took me a day and I was immediately accepted and I got full benefits all of that and since I was promoting myself a lot as soon as I was accepted I could see my revenue and I was making money because those videos were going up like views and everything they were going up so yeah and then another part where I made the most money was in October when I did um, a video on this hair company that is now private. That's a whole nother video. It'll be in the eye if you guys are wondering what I'm talking about. But yeah, so I did that video and that is when I got more views on my channel and it started to go up some more and I got a lot of revenue. It wasn't until early this year that I was actually able to reached the threshold which is a hundred and that's how much I got paid I was only over a little bit of the threshold and once you meet that threshold you're able to cash out it's not a whole like you click and get your money it used to be when I was 15 16 all you had to do was press a button and you're able to cash out but now you get paid within a certain day like it's the 21st of the month or something like that so yeah, that is how much money I have made on YouTube. I kind of am still making money, but I haven't reached the threshold again. One thing that I have been telling myself, and I know that you guys should be telling you yourself this too, is to stay consistent. I started TikTok switching platforms now. I started TikTok. I created a profile back in September of 2021. And January of 2022, one of my videos went viral. I only had like 10 videos up on my channel. And the most recent one I had did in January went went viral. Almost a million views, 440,000 likes overall on my channel. And uh, now I have 3,000 followers on TikTok. And I'm able to get brand partnerships and stuff like this through TikTok. Also, another thing with that is with um, as soon as I hit a thousand, I got my first brand deal. Like, actually, that was not my first. Y'all, I have been on, I have to go back and forth because I've been on YouTube for so long. When I first started YouTube when I was 15, I did get a brand partnership with a glass, uh, eyeglass company. But that was my first one after, after I got monetized. In September, a month later, I got um, a brand partnership, and that was my first one since that one when I was 15. So yeah, a lot of opportunities come when you're consistent. That was that was what I was getting at. Um, a lot of opportunities come when you're consistent. So just stay afloat, be consistent, do whatever you need to do to motivate yourself to keep going. If this is something that you really really want to do and most importantly just be you don't try to change your channel for nobody if you want to do vlogs do vlogs if you want to do makeup do makeup if you want to do hair do hair if you want to do gaming do gaming it's all up to what you want to do so yeah i've talked long enough and this video was not supposed to be long so i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any more questions please comment them below i'm not gonna gatekeep on this this is something that everybody has access to so i don't feel like there should be like gatekeeping so yeah make sure to comment like share subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys listen to me as i